I was one of the few economists who predicted the global financial crisis, but uh, no wonder they call it the, the dismal signs. Now, in spite of these caveats, I'll try to tell you what, what's my outlook on what's going to happen to the global economy, what's going to happen to the policy response, and what's going to happen to markets. Uh, the first observation is that today we are in a period uh, that I would characterize of a global economic slowdown. As you know, you have an expansion where growth is positive and accelerating, and you have a slowdown where growth is positive but uh, decelerating. Uh, there was an expansion between the middle of 2016, after a couple of episodes of risk-off, uh, through the beginning of 2018. But for the last 12 months or so, we've had a global economic slowdown. And the question everybody's asking, is it going to be just a slowdown? Are we going to go back to an expansion? Or are we going to fall into an outright recession in the US and globally? Uh, if you look at the data, actually, we're already in a recession for part of the global economy. Industry and manufacturing is in a recession. Uh, exports are in a recession. Exports are falling throughout the world. And capital spending of the corporate sector is also in a recession, has been falling in the US and all over the world uh, for the last uh, few months and quarters. And that's not a surprise. As I'll discuss in more detail, there are huge uncertainties about uh, trade and whether there'll be a full-scale trade war between the US and China. And economists believe that uh, whenever there is uncertainty, uh, there is an option value of waiting, especially when you have to make major investment decisions. If you're a corporate in the US, in Europe, in Japan, in China, in emerging market, why would you want uh, to build a new factory, spend billions of dollars, where you have no idea whether by the end of the year the tariff on Chinese goods are going to be 25%, 30 40 or more. And there is an overall uh, trade war, not just between US and China, but uh, Trump was elected on a campaign of America first, buy American and hire American and make America great again. So protectionism has been one of the things he has believed the most uh, for the last uh, few decades. 